How would I feel about declaring independence? Well, I really don't know. I mean, on one hand, I don't like somebody across the ocean telling me about what I should do with my life or making decisions for me that I don't have a say in it. But then I also know that I'm relying on a lot of uh, Brit British imports in the 18th century. So things like glass for window sashes and the decorative details that I would need has to be imported from England. And I can't imagine that people that can afford this kind of work um, would actually be thinking about making decorative uh, furnishings and trim work and cornice pieces on their homes during, while there's a war going on. But I still have to feed my family and I still have to keep the business afloat. But I got to tell you, the last thing I want to have happen is spending my days building coffins. So I would be very much undecided uh, on independence in the 18th century, just considering how many rights and freedoms we did enjoy as British subjects. Uh, one of the freest empires in the world at that time compared to a lot of the other absolute monarchies, whereas you know Great Britain was a constitutional monarchy, protecting the rights of the people going back to the Magna Carta, 1215. Uh, and yet on the other hand, uh, so much of Virginia's and other colonies' population within the British Empire is not equally represented, uh, not enjoying all of those rights and privileges. So that could definitely be improved upon. Plus, you've got uh, Parliament and the King thousands of miles away in Great Britain trying to regulate things here in Virginia and the colonies telling us what to do when they're not firsthand, they're not privy to all that's going on, um, knowing what's best for uh, Virginia and the other colonies. Um, but then again, there's no guarantee we would win the war or the struggle against Great Britain for independence. And uh, that could result in some very serious consequences if we did not. So there's a lot to weigh and consider. Yes, we could potentially create a new and better government that could keep the good parts of the British system and improve upon those that were not so good. And yet, what would be the consequences? Um, so it's, it's a lot to weigh and, and to consider in that sense. So if I was living during the 18th century, being a carpenter, being an African-American um, person, I don't think I would choose either side because neither side is offering freedom for those that are African, African Virginian, mixed race Virginian, uh, you know, your, your native people. Um, it's only freedom with limits depending on what side you're on. So the governor of Virginia, um, Lord Dunmore offers freedom to enslave people, but only enslave people of rebel masters. So meaning the, the masters of, of uh, uh, enslaved people of people like George Washington, and Thomas Jefferson, um, but not of enslaved people that belong to British slaveholders. So for me, um, I wouldn't really take a slide. I would kind of be in the middle maybe. I still wouldn't be trusting either side if I chose to be on the side, um, you know, to try to get my freedom. So I'm a carpenter in Williamsburg, um, and here's what do carpenters do. We're in the house building business. And when the Revolutionary War started, when it broke out here in Virginia, one of the things that happened is people stopped building houses. You know, it was a want, not a need. And so the carpenters kind of fell on hard times. Um, a lot of them here in Williamsburg uh, realized that the, the best new customer in town was, the, was Virginia because all of the soldiers were mustering into town here and they needed barracks fixed up and they needed all kinds of woodwork. And so the state with well, a committee of safety and then later the state was paying pretty well. So a lot of carpenters found it very easy to, uh, to, to side with the Patriots. Um, some of the others, they just wanted to be left alone, just like lots of people, you know, I don't want to pick a side. Uh, but the economics of the business, you know, sometimes you had to pick a side. And some people said, I don't want to have anything to do with this. And they just left. So those guys just took themselves out of the equation. But in that first group of people, the carpenters that worked for the state, some of them were secretly siding with the other side, but they needed the money. And when Virginia, when the, when the British arrived here in Williamsburg, all of those guys who were secretly on their side came out and said, hey, we're with them, we're with the British. And, and, uh, and then when the British left Williamsburg and headed to Yorktown, that, that left these guys in a bad spot. Some of them had to follow the British to Yorktown. Some of them ended up in the jail here in town. So it was a really tough 
uh, decision. Which side am I going to pick? Uh, because, you know, I have to think about it as a businessman. I have to keep money coming in. And then, you know, also these guys had had a political opinion, just like lots of other folks.